We noticed in the previous episodes that megalithic culture which spanned from 4500 to 1000 BCE in India showed signs of global migration and the beginning of an urban civilization. Similar mystery existed in the Indus Valley civilization. Thanks to recent research by Asko Porpola, Airavadam Mahadevan and R. Balakrishnan, which established that Indus civilization was Dravidian in nature. Archaeological findings in Tamil Nadu further confirms that Sangam era was a continuation of Indus Valley civilization. When this researcher visited Kaya Museum in Gimhe, Korea, he noticed pot sherds with graffiti marks resembling that of Kodumanal in Tamil Nadu, Kuldedi and Indus Valley artifacts. The Koreans call it as Haman Ugori or Habu Sariri. They had no idea what those graffiti meant. Intensive research conducted by Tamil Nadu archaeologists established that those graffiti marks were precursors of later Tamil script. This link has been well established using Indus marks, Brahmi scripts of Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka and Andhra Pradesh. What Dr. Kannan found out was that Hangul alphabet of Korea, which came later, followed a similar course of development. The current understanding is that Tamari or Tamil Brahmi dates back at least 300 years before Asokan Brahmi. In fact, this alphabetical system was a precursor of all Dravidian languages and even the Devanagari script of Sanskrit. So Tamil predates Sanskrit and was instrumental in developing Hangul, the Korean alphabetical system. Thus, Chempas travelled to Korea to establish Kaya has in its backstory a long history dating back to the Indus Valley civilization.